So this right here is arguably the number one way to make money on YouTube. And for some reason, only a few people know that this exists. And I've been seeing more and more channels pop up recently that are doing this exact thing that we'll talk about in this video. And that is starting a video to purchase YouTube channel. This is where you create videos talking about the best products to purchase in certain categories. The products could range from cell phones and laptops all the way to air filters and blenders. But within these videos, you'll include affiliate links in the description so that when people click on the links to buy the products, you'll earn money from the sales. And there are hundreds of channels that are already making insane amounts of money by using the strategy of making product review videos without ever having to show their face or even say any words. The only thing I've done is just brought all the pieces together and created this simple step-by-step -step formula. And you can use this exact formula to go and create your own video to purchase YouTube channel immediately after you finish watching this video. Now, the very first thing you need to decide before you actually start Start making videos is what types of products do you want to review for example you could create product reviews about different tech products like how this channel here is doing or you can stick with consumer home goods products like shavers and above ground pools or if you wanted to you could even go and review things like shoes and backpacks I mean there really is no wrong way to go about this now the one suggestion that I will give you is that if you want to make the most money from this then you should only focus on reviewing high ticket items a high ticket item is simply a product that costs a lot of money and so you could think of things like laptops uh, phones appliances printers air purifiers computer monitors I mean I could go on and on but I think that you get the point right all of these things tend to have a higher ticket price and the reason this is good is because it means you'll end up making a lot more money let's just say for example that you make two different videos one video about the best laptops for college students and another video about the best light bulbs both videos perform well and get around 300,000 views and out of those those 300,000 views, let's say that only 1% of the viewers, or about 3,000 people, purchase one of the products from your video. Now, obviously, laptops tend to be a little bit more expensive than light bulbs. And so if you were to earn, let's say, a modest 5% commission on a $2,000 laptop, well, if 3,000 people bought that laptop, this means you'd earn over $300,000 in commission. However, if you earned that same 5% commission on a $10 light bulb that 3,000 people bought, this means you'd only earn around $1,500 dollars in commission and so do you see what I mean by making review videos of higher ticket items you'll end up making a lot more money now in terms of what high ticket items you should make videos on should you do phones and computers or vacuums and pressure washers cameras and TVs what exactly should you make videos on well I would say make videos about all of it you see unlike a traditional YouTube channel where having a dedicated niche is important for the video to purchase YouTube strategy having a dedicated niche is not necessary because you're going to be creating videos specifically for search and not only just YouTube search but your videos will also appear in Google search and so you're specifically targeting people who are researching a product and typically they're ready to make a purchase and this is a really good thing it means that all you have to do is just make sure that your videos get in front of the right people and so the question becomes how exactly can you get your videos in front of the right people well it all starts with having the right tools so the first thing I want you to do is download a free browser extension called vidIQ. You can download it using my link down below. Once you've installed it on your browser, or alternatively, you could go to the website and log in and just do all of what I'm about to show you here directly on the website. But for this example, I'm just going to be using the browser extension directly on YouTube. But anyways, once vidIQ is installed, I'm going to head over to a channel that's using the video to purchase YouTube strategy. And in this case, it happens to be this channel right here called Top 5 Picks. But of course, there are also a ton of other channels doing this exact same thing, including this one here, uh, The Five Best, or this one right here, Foremost List, or Valid Consumer, and many, many more. But for now, we're just going to look at this channel right here called Top Five Best. So from the channel, with vidIQ installed, you'll notice that you have a couple of new buttons added to the screen. And one of them is a button that says Trending. And we're just going to click on that button, and vidIQ will show us all of the videos that are currently trending for this channel. Now, I should mention that I am using the pro version of this plugin. This is a plugin that I personally use on my channel. Now the pro version does cost like I think $7.50 per month or something like that. But if you use my link down below, then you can get one month for just $1. Okay, so it's worth trying it out. But anyways, when we click on the trending button, vidIQ will show us all the videos that are currently trending on this channel. And I want you to take note of this, okay? Write down the titles of all the videos, how many views they currently have, and just go through all of the trending videos. And I would say anything that 
that has over like maybe 20 views per hour, write it down. Because all of these videos are gonna be videos that you can recreate on your channel. And here's the thing, okay? We know that people are searching for these products, for these topics, because vidIQ is telling us right here. For example, this video right here is getting 199.6 views per hour. VPH means views per hour. And for a channel like this, these are considered high quality views that could lead to a lot of money, okay? And so looking at the trending videos is one way to find video ideas. Something else you can do is click up here where it says top keywords. And when you click that, vidIQ will compile a massive list of the popular keywords that this channel is ranking for. And then when you click on any of these keywords here, for example, let's click right here on best electric toothbrushes. And when we do that, we'll be given a huge list of related keywords that people are searching for. It'll also show us the search volume for the keyword and how much competition exists. Now, I want you to ignore this column right here that says competition because even the keywords that have a very high competition, we can still rank for and get views. What I want you to focus on instead is the search volume because what you're gonna do is make videos on the search terms that are the most popular. For example, electric toothbrush has a high search volume, right? But if we scroll down this list here, we can see that specifically the Philips Sonicare is a popular keyword. And so what you can do is make a video specifically about the best Philips Sonicare toothbrushes, right? And then scrolling down again, we can see that the search term teeth whitening is extremely popular. And so you could make a video about the best teeth whitening products. And we could keep going through this, but I think you get the point. And you would basically follow this exact process for everything. Toothbrushes is just one example, but you'll do the same thing for TVs and phones, printers, speakers, luggage, keyboards, and on and on and on. Now, there is more to talk about when it comes to finding ideas for videos and then ranking for those ideas. But perhaps I'll make a second video talking about this in a lot more detail. And if you'd be interested in seeing this video, just be sure to comment down below so that I know you're interested. But I wanna go ahead and transition now and talk about how to actually make these videos. The first thing that you'll need is editing software. And there are a ton of different options out there. If you have an Apple computer or even an iPad, then you can download and use iMovie completely free. And iMovie is a very powerful editing software. If you have a PC, then you can download and use DaVinci Resolve, Hit Film Express, Kden Live, or Lightworks. All of these are 100% free. If you are willing to pay for the best editing software, both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro are the absolute best options. You could also go with an online video editing platform such as NVIDIA, and I'll leave a link for that down below in the description. Now, I personally use Final Cut Pro, and so that's the software that I'll be using to show you how to make these videos. And so let's just kind of start from scratch here, okay? Let's just say, for example, that you finished watching this video and you're ready to go make product review videos by yourself. We've already discussed step number one, which is coming up with the actual ideas. And so we've got a big list of ideas here. And for the sake of example, let's just say that we wanted to make a video about the best laptops. In terms of the actual script for the video, I've actually already got the script right here. And I did this in literally five minutes using AI. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. I also used a tool that converts the text from the script into a realistic sounding voice. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video as well. But anyways, here I am in my editing software and it's time to actually start creating the video. And so the first laptop on the list, according to our script, is the Apple MacBook Air M2. And I mentioned earlier in the video for all of these products that you're gonna be reviewing throughout your videos that you wouldn't need to actually own any of the physical products yourself that there was a different way to go about it. And here it is. So what I'm gonna do is pull up my script and just kind of go through line by line and read what the script says so that I can then go and find different images and video clips that match the script. And so here's an example, right? So the first line reads, uh, first things first, let's talk about design. The MacBook Air M2 retains the iconic and elegant design that Apple is known for. And then it just kind of continues on talking about the design. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go find different images and videos online of the MacBook Air M2. And so I'm gonna head over to YouTube and in the search bar, I'm gonna type in Apple MacBook Air M2. But before I actually search, I'm gonna click right here on filters and then choose the option that says Creative Commons and then hit search. Now, Creative Commons is a type of license that lets others distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon your work as long as they credit you for the original creation. And so all of these videos on this page fall under the Creative Commons license. And we can click on any of these videos. And so for example, I'm gonna click on this video here. And all of the footage that's being used throughout
throughout this video that was shot by somebody else, we can use in our video without getting any copyright strikes or getting into any trouble. As long as we credit the original uh, owner of the video within the description of your video. And you can see here that there is a lot of really well shot B-roll footage of the MacBook Air M2 that we can use in our video. And so what I'm gonna do to actually get access to this footage is simply copy the URL of this video and then go to a free website called keepvid.to and then simply paste the URL that you copied into this field here and then click on download. At which point I can pull that footage into my editing software and begin cutting up all the footage that I wanna use. Now, if you can't find any video footage using this method, something else that you can do is go to the product website and find images or videos on the actual website. And so for example, I went to this Surface laptop website and it has this really cool like beginning animation thing. Well, I can download this by right clicking it and saving the video to my computer. If they don't have an option to save the video, well, then you can simply take a screen recording of the video from your computer. And so if you have an Apple computer, just simply press shift command five and then you can begin doing a screen recording. If you're on a PC, then you should be able to press the Windows button plus Alt plus R to begin doing a screen recording. Alternatively, you can download the images from the website and kind of do a Ken Burns effect to the image, sort of like how they're doing in this video here. You could also try searching for any actual like marketing videos of the product from the company. And so if I were to search Apple MacBook Air M2 into YouTube, I would see an actual commercial from Apple and I could use small parts of this commercial to add to my video. Now you have to be more careful with this option not to show too much of the commercial because showing too much could get your video a copyright strike. But typically only showing like five to 10 seconds of the footage is pretty safe. But anyways, after using the footage we found earlier combined with the AI voiceover, here's what we have so far. First things first, let's talk about design. The MacBook Air M2 retains the iconic and elegant design that Apple is known for. It features a thin and lightweight form factor, making it incredibly portable and easy to carry wherever you go. Now, this looks really good so far. However, it definitely still needs something to really make it feel a lot more complete. And I think what it's missing is music. I think that if we added music to this, it would really help to drive the video and hold people's attention longer. And this is important because the longer we can hold attention, the more you YouTube will push the video. And the more the video is pushed, the more views it'll get. And the more views it gets, the more money you'll end up making. And so what I'm gonna do is head over to this website here called Epidemic Sound. Now this website is fantastic. It has over 30,000 high quality songs and over 90,000 high quality sound effects. And this basically means that you'll never run out of songs to use in your videos. Now I'm gonna be honest with you and just let you know that this website does require a very, very small subscription. It's only $9 per month if you pay annually uh, or $15 per month if you pay monthly. Now, in my opinion, this is extremely cheap for what you're actually getting, right? Considering that these videos can make you as much as six figures per month, paying just $9 per month for a subscription is literally nothing. But I'm gonna put a link down below in the description of this video and I'll pin it to the top of the comment section as well. And if you sign up using that link, then you'll get a 30 day free trial. I mean, you literally have nothing to lose, okay? Just sign up using my link, start making these review videos for 30 days and if you don't like it if it's not working out for you just cancel the free trial and you don't have to pay a single penny okay and so i'm on epidemic sound right now and i'm going to click up here where it says browse and you'll see that there are a ton of different genres of music that we can search through you can also search for music by moods and by themes now obviously the type of music that you choose is going to be completely up to your personal preference for me personally for these types of videos i would like something that's a little bit more fast paced and so i'll go with some type of electronic music like future bass or maybe even dance and so I'm just gonna scroll through and play songs until I find something that I like and will fit my video and you don't have to overthink this process right just find any song that works and so for me I like this song right here and so I'm just gonna quickly download it and then head back into my video editor place the song below everything else and you'll want to make sure to lower the um, the levels of the music because you don't want the music blaring over the actual voiceover like if I were to just place the music in here as is it would sound like this first things first let's talk about design right the like MacBook like Air that's M2 obviously M2 way too loud and so typically i like to turn the audio down to around negative 21 db and so here's how it sounds like that first things first let's talk about design 
The MacBook Air M2 retains the iconic and elegant design that Apple is known for. It features a thin and lightweight form factor, making it incredibly portable and easy to carry wherever you go. The stunning Retina display with True Tone technology delivers vibrant colors, sharp details, and exceptional clarity, providing an immersive visual experience for both work and entertainment. Okay, and so that sounds significantly better. And this didn't take long at all. I mean, we spent like, what, maybe 15 minutes making this video? But now, as promised, I wanna talk with you about how to actually create the scripts for these videos. The first thing I'll do is go into ChatGPT and ask the AI, what are the best laptops of, and then whatever the current year is for you. And interestingly enough, ChatGPT actually can't answer this. And so instead, I'll head over to Bard, which is Google's AI, and I'll just ask Bard, the same question, okay? And here's the answer, great. And so we'll just use these laptops within our video. Now you could, if you wanted to, just go to Google and ask Google this same question and then click on any of the top links to see what their options are. But for this example, I'm just gonna use AI. And so now that we have our top laptop options, I'm just gonna take each one of these laptops individually, go back into ChatGPT and ask the AI to write me a YouTube video script about why each of these laptops are the best. And I'll start first with the Apple MacBook Air M2. And so I'll say, write a video script about why the Apple MacBook Air M2 is the best laptop. And within a few seconds, here's its response. And so I'll just copy this and then paste it into a blank Google Doc. And this document will act as our script for our video. Now, before I forget, we do actually need to write a video introduction. And for this, once again, I'm just gonna have the AI write it for us. And so I'll ask ChatGPT to write a video introduction about the best laptops. And just in a matter of seconds, here it is. And so I'll copy and paste that at the top of our document since this is the video introduction. And then immediately following that is gonna be the first laptop, which is the Apple MacBook Air. And you would just go down the list of laptops and do the same thing for every laptop. Ask the AI to write a YouTube video script about why that laptop is the best. And as far as the script is concerned, that's it. And you'll just use the same exact formula for any product, any script. And then in terms of creating the voiceover for your videos, this is really simple. So I've researched a ton of different text-to-speech voiceover tools, and there's definitely a lot of really good options out there. For example, if you decide to use a tool like NVIDIA for your video editing, well, NVIDIA actually has a built-in text-to-speech tool that works really well. If you're using one of the other video editors that we talked about from earlier in the video, then you'll have to use a tool like Eleven Labs, which is a realistic text-to-speech AI. And this is actually the tool that I use to make the voiceover from the video that we made today. Or you could just record the voiceover yourself with your own voice. And you could do this by using your phone or like your computer. Most computers have built-in mics and definitely your phone has a built-in mic. And so that's definitely an option too. Hey, you're amazing and I appreciate you so much for being here. I mean that. Don't ever forget, okay? You can accomplish anything you want in this life. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.